Okay, now let's make a snowman. For this, we're gonna use two five inch white rounds and a blue 260. And um, inflate the blue 260 all but a five finger tail, which is about three and a half inches. And inflate a white round one to about, I don't know, about the size so it fits in your hands about I don't know the whole way maybe just so it's not like running down the gooseneck just like this let's see like five inches I'm guessing and then I want to show you how to put a light in these balloons um, in case you want to put a light in but if you do use lights you may want to tell customers hey I can make frosty light up uh, or your Rudolph, or your Rudolph's nose light up if you, you know, like pay another little fee of like thirty or fifty dollars, so to cover the cost of your lights. And you can preload these, like while you're watching TV, just stick the light into the neck of the balloon and just leave it like that because you have to pull this little tab out. And these are little round uh, light bulbs that I found on Amazon. They're little LED mini lights and when you pull this out it changes all different colors it's kind of cute and they have them in solid blue and solid white too and not but i really like the ones that light up all different colors and if you put them in a white balloon then you can see all the different colors if you put them in a different color balloon you can't really see them changing the colors so they look good in the white balloon so you pull the little tab out and and then you just start inflating the balloon and it will fall in there so just hold on to it and blow the bottom up maybe a, a little it should be a little bit bigger or the same size i guess if you want uh, a little bit bigger than the bottom of the snowman and tie it then you're going to tie these two ends together. And it's a little hard to see the light. You can't really see it with all these lights that I have on the camera or around the camera to show you uh, how to twist the balloon. It's really hard to see the light. Um, but maybe I could put another video on showing you all the different lights. But it lights up really nice, especially when it's dark. All different colors. And um, let's see if I can show you real quick. Not really. <laughs> it lights up the balloon really nice. I still have a lot of lights on here, so it's really hard to see. But it does look really good. And it lights the balloon up nice. So anyway... You can do that. I don't put the lights in clear balloons because they're really, really bright. And I don't want to give anybody a headache or, or trigger a migraine because that will trigger a migraine in people with migraines. And I don't want to, like, blind anyone either. So they look really good in white balloons and pearl white balloons. And they look really nice in those, too. So then take your um, 260 and inflate that with about a five-finger... Uh, bubble to a five finger bubble twist it it doesn't have to be exact and then twist a little cherry tomato size bubble maybe about one and a half fingers and pinch twist that and if you're gonna put it on a stick um which i don't have any sticks around but if you are um do two pinch twists if you're not don't worry about it. if you're just gonna hand it to them but if you are do another pinch twist right there because the stick will tuck in nice to the pinch twist wrap it around the neck and once you get it around the neck flip this pinch twist up through the center right up to the top go down a little bit longer than the other one for the other part of the scarf and you can curve it if you want and then pop and break that off or go to the very end and nip the end and just leak the air out and tie it off and you can leave these little 
ends if you want for the end of a scarf, just like that. And then you want to draw on it. and Or you can get the pre-printed snowman heads and you don't have to draw anything. You just make it and hand it to them. It's pretty easy and it's a cute design. Um, but I hold my hand steady and I draw two pretty big ovals. And then little circles sitting in the bottom. And then if you want to get your orange Sharpie out. Oh, I just got Sharpie on me. Um, you draw like a triangle thing shooting out that way. It looks like a slice of pizza. And then you would want to put the orange Sharpie in. I'm not going to do it tonight, but you can put the orange Sharpie in. And then after the orange Sharpie, you can do this to make it look like a carrot. But I would wait till after you put the orange on so the black doesn't smear. And then you want to put two curves for the cheeks and then just connect that. Scoop it down a little bit for the bottom of his smile. Maybe give him a little bump. Like two little bumps for the tongue. And you can fill that in if you want to. You don't even have to fill it in though. There's all that little extra detail. Looks really cute, but it takes a lot of time. And if you want to, you don't even have to do this. But if you want to, you can give them eyelids. You just draw little lines across the top. And then you can fill that in red too. You can even just fill it in black like that and not worry about it. And then I give them three buttons here. And I just wiggle this up for sticks. Like little stick hands. And this is the snowman I make. And there you go. With optional light. You also can use an 11 inch round. Big 11 inch round head and a big 11 inch round bottom. If you want to just inflate the head a little bit smaller and do the same exact thing. And there you have it. Here is the um, bottom of the snowman lighting up in the dark, all different colors. And that's what it looks like.